Hi, I'm Ellie Bierman. I'm glad you stopped by here today to find out what is a happy share? Why do you want to do it? Why does it matter? The fact is that happy people live longer lives, healthier lives. They experience more success in their business. They experience better relationships. Why do you do the things that you do in life? especially if you're someone stuck in a job you don't particularly like, you do it so you can bring in the income to buy the things that you think make you happy. So here's another reason why you want to be happy. Let's say on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being, yeah, I'm really happy all the time, and 1 being, I don't really know what happiness is. You want to really live at a level that's at least a seven. Now, here's why. Bad things happen in everybody's lives. So let's say you're living at a level seven, seven out of 10 on the happiness scale. And your very, very best friend in the whole world is moving away. Now, for you, that's a traumatic event. It could be worth four points of disappointment in your world, in your feelings, in your sadness. So if you're at a seven and you're losing four points, that takes you down to a three. Well, if you're down to a three in your happiness level, you're going to be able to get through the experience faster and you're going to bounce back, get all the way back up to a seven. But what if? What if your normal happiness level is a five and that same the friend moves away, pulls you down by four points, you're all the way down at a one. If you're down at a one, chances are you're going to be absolutely devastated and unable to recover even to get back to the five. So your degree of happiness is very, very critical. How did I learn about happiness and why it's so important? Twice I had traumatic brain injuries. The first time, it was such a bad injury. The 16 people on my medical team from every area of medicine said, this is as good as it gets. Learn to live with it. You're not going to get better. Well, I wasn't about to accept that. So the first thing I did was I thought, I'm going to look for the gifts in the situation. And when I was looking for the gifts, I realized, wow, there are a lot of them. And every time I focus on one, the universe brings me more gifts for which to feel happy. And the psychologist at the Brain Rehab Center where I went said, the only people whom he saw heal from traumatic brain injuries were those who could look for the gifts. I think that's a pretty darn good reason because you know what? I did heal. I did get better. I recovered probably 95% of who I was before that injury. And you know, it was really weird. I went to the doctor in charge of my case and I said, look, I'm better. I know what I did. I know how I got here. I can help your clients. And he smirked. He literally smirked. And in my records, he wrote the word miracle. And he said to me, I don't know what happened. I just know I didn't do it. I then went to somebody running a brain rehab center. Said the same thing to her. She could never find time to let me in. So all of her clients didn't get to benefit from what I knew and what I discovered. Well, then, some years later, I found I was losing all of my ability to use my hands. And then I went to my feet because I had a brain tumor. After the surgery, I woke up. I couldn't talk, I couldn't swallow, I couldn't walk, I couldn't move. I could move a little bit my body, but I couldn't even move my head. Anyway, 
I was lying in bed one day under those conditions and suddenly I was high, like flying high, like I had just done a workout and the endorphins were flying. And I asked the universe, what is going on? How could I possibly be high in joy when I'm in this state? And the immediately response was, this is true happiness. You know what it turns out? True happiness is our natural state. And if you're not in that space, it's because you're putting up the blocks. Enter the Happy Share movement that I created after the first brain injury. So what is it? Every day you share something that leaves you feeling happy and grateful. You might want to start out with one or two or three. What I did was I started every morning listing 10 things for which I felt happy and grateful right then. They could be simple things like my vision's working. I'm seeing things the way they actually appear, which is something I had lost in that brain injury. Or, wow, I can walk today without falling over. I had severe dizziness. Things that might seem little to somebody else, they were enormous to me. So they were things that let me feel happy and grateful, 10 of them every morning. What do you think that did for my day? It set me in this energy, this loving, feel-good energy to go into my day. Then the last thing I do at night, and I've been doing this for 25, 26 years, last thing I do at night is list 10 things for which I feel happy and grateful that happened that day day. That's putting my brain, my mind, my being in the energy that feels good and peaceful and loving to sleep. How do you think that's going to allow you to sleep when you're going to sleep in that loving, peaceful place? The other time that I'll do I feel happy and grateful is if something happens during the day and I feel frustrated or angry or disappointed, I'll immediately count off 10 things. I'll speak them out loud for which I feel happy and grateful in that moment. What does that do for me? It takes me out of that negative energy and it allows me to replace the frustration, the anger, the nasty feelings they get replaced with feel good, peace, calm, and quite frankly, joy. So these are all the reasons why the Happy Share movement can change your life and can change your world. Thank you for being here today. And please do share this site with people you care about in the world or share it just with two people today because as the movement spreads, it's changing the energy of everyone and everything on the planet because that energy isn't locked just inside you. It goes out and it spreads. And when you come here each day and just write one thing on the site or on the Facebook site, which it's on facebook.com, it's the Happy Share Movement. There's a page for it if you're in there. Or you can come here. I'll make it easy for you to be able to list your one thing. See, when you write down your thing for which you feel happy and grateful, you know what? Your mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So simply by sharing that, you get to relive it. All the great feel-good emotions will go right through you. Again, you'll experience them. And the other benefit of doing that, somebody else who comes to the site will see what you've written, what you've shared, and think, hey, I have an experience like that. It will help them feel better and spark what they want to add. So go out and make it a wonder-filled day. And be sure you come back here every day.